Hi, this is Sky Green with the School Street Design Company. I gave the advanced modeling webinar on April 26th, and a couple of people asked during the webinar about how I make the sheared or pony style wingtips on some of my models. We didn't have time to go over it during the webcast, but I figured I would post a quick video on how I do it. There's a cool little trick to it, and I think you'll enjoy it. So this is just a mock tail plane that I've come up with. It's using the same NACA 0010 airfoil section that I used in the webinar. Um, and so what we want to do to make these sort of sheared pointy style tips to start with um, is we're going to do some extrusions and we're going to thin out our topology. So we're going to start by extruding once like that. And then there's no reason why we need to carry all this, all these isocurves all the way out to the tip. Um, when you sort of think about conceptually what these tips are like, as they go to the very tip, uh, the airfoil itself becomes less critical and it becomes more about sort of the, the smoothness of the leading edge and the nice crisp trailing edge and everything else is kind of secondary to that. So I know that I'm going to want to thin out my topology, so let's start by doing that. And I'm going to take out every other isocurve here. And this uh, really ties back into that whole concept that I gave in the webcast about um, maintaining your not values. And, and so by doing it like this, um, you will uh, not introduce any sort of isocurve drift into your airfoil section here. So you can maintain the accuracy of the rest of your tailplane doing it this way. So I'm going to start, um, like I said, by thinning it out. And then I scaled it down using the scale manipulator 2D. And then I'm going to just repeat this two more times. So let's go once more out. Let's thin out the topology once more. OK. And let's scale this down using the Scale 2D, using this manipulator. And again, just sort of bring it back like this. OK. And then one more time is all we need to finish this off and we're going to thin out the topology once more. Let me show you what this looks like in smooth mode right now. Um, what we want to do is we want to collapse all this geometry onto one point. And the way that we do that without uh, introducing sort of problems into our curvature down here at the point. This is a this is a common problem with NURBS. If you do this with like a sweep or a loft, you come down into this point and you end up with this like real blow up in your curvature on, on your model. And that's because you're taking all these isocurves and you're collapsing them down into one spot. So there's a little trick that we can do with T-splines, not just with using our T-points, but in terms of uh, reducing that problem in this region. So what we do is we take the points here in the middle and we de-weight them. We make their, their weight or their influence as close to zero as we possibly can. So I use this TS weight function here and I set the weight of these two points to one ten thousandths of, of an inch. And what that does is, as you can see, is it makes this whole section, it makes these points not have any effect whatsoever on the model. And then what you do now is you just go and you use your set point function and you start to manually, coll manually collapse those points and this point right here onto the tip. And now we can just sort of point edit this thing at will so that it looks like however we want it to look like. And what you can see is we get this really nice, great looking uh, tip without having a problem with the crease trailing edge carrying around. Um, the, tre the crease trailing edge stops right here at the tip and you can see that that the uh, leading edge, the curvature, really just fades beautifully uh, down into this tip. So um, it's a neat little trick. It, it's really all about just using that TS weight to keep the uh, the curvature in this region as orderly as possible. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.